This was a few minutes before the explosion. The gas truck had broken down, but nobody knew it was going to come with a blast. And few seconds after, the blast came. Oh. One person so far have been confirmed dead, vehicles destroyed, and the governor of Ogun State, Prince Dakwabiodun, had visited the scene, and part of his pronouncement was to carry out a fitness test on buildings around the scene of the explosion. So what we have just done is to do what you call a reconnaissance, um, maybe about 150 meters uh, to the uh, ground zero where the event happened, to assess, you know, facially, uh, the buildings and then look at it and then they will come back uh, tomorrow immediately to come and do tests to those buildings so that we determine those of them that are still structurally strong to be used and those that are not strong we will uh, recommend uh, you know whatever palliatives are necessary to make them you know fitting for for use again the structural and building engineers from the ministry of urban and physical planning have been led here by the commissioner to see the level of damage and they met people picking their ruins most of the ceilings blown off and the glasses destroyed. Thank God that the damage is not, uh, you know, very, very, very serious. Uh, we have seen, you know, mainly blown out windows, uh, blown out uh, ceiling, you know, um, and a few, you know, that we can see, uh, just little cracks here and there. Um, so we are lucky and we are thank God that uh, the, the calamity is as uh, little as that. In some other instances, it could be really, really devastating, but we thank God. On whether some houses will give way, the commissioner said if found not standing the test of time, those structures would have to go down. Definitely they will go down. Uh, the safety of the citizens are very paramount. Uh, we can't allow people to stay inside um, distressed buildings, buildings that will collapse at any time, and then we wake up one day and we hear about building collapse, and that people have died. That would be very distressful. And so we need to be proactive about that. So if you come and you discover that they are no longer structurally good uh, to be habitable for people, definitely they have to come down. Funny enough, a replica of the vehicle that caused the havoc was passing and the people still living with the fear began to leave their goods remembering what happened the other day. So I was just looking at uh, the, the configuration of this place. It's uh, in a curve and in, in, a, in, a, in a slope. Um, that you know affects uh, you know uh, the speed of vehicles. It affects the way vehicles behave. So uh, we'll ask the 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 necessary agency to come and look at it for us to be able to do something to mitigate you know likely uh, accidents. I, I heard that this is not the first time something like this is happening in this area. Not necessarily gas explosion, but accidents due to the slope, due to the bend coming from uh, you know um, the psychiatric hospital, and due to recklessness of drivers. You know, so we need to appeal to our drivers to be more cautious when you are approaching a bend. You know, slow down. We are going down the slope. Slow down. Uh, drivers don't take adequate care. The effect of those structures has seen a minimal from the surface, but when the machines carry out the test. It might be more and something as said by the commissioner will be done to avert another disaster. Bumi Adigun, OGTV News.